Hey there, Pastor Tony. Are you playing with toys? It's okay. Bring them back up. You want to help me tell a story today? Today we're going to tell a story about Balaam's donkey. Now this passage is found in Numbers 22, verses 21 through 38. The Bible is filled with some pretty great stories. There are some with heroes, men and women who stood up for God and accomplished great things. There are stories of lowly people that God raised up to do incredible things. There are stories of forgiveness, stories of second chances, and stories of miracles happening. There are some pretty weird stories in the Bible too. Some gross, strange, and just plain odd. It may be confusing at first, but if we look a little deeper, we'll learn some incredible things. We've begun a new series exploring some of these weird stories to see what they can teach us about. You ready to help me? Okay. Today we're going to meet a man who talked to an animal. I guess that isn't so strange. A lot of people talk to their pets. Do you talk to your pet? Do you talk to your houseplants? Well, what's strange about this story is the animal talked back to the man. The man in our story, his name is Balaam. The story takes place during the time when the Israelites were wandering in the desert. They had escaped from slavery in Egypt, but they hadn't made it yet to the land that God had promised them. As they wandered about, they would come across different cities and nations. Sometimes these nations would be hostile and they would go to war with the Israelites. God was traveling with the Israelites and he was giving them victory wherever they went. This made the king of Moab very nervous. His name was Balak. Balak wanted to stop the Israelites from being successful, so he sent men out to get Balaam. He wanted Balaam to come to Moab and put a curse on the Israelites. At first, Balaam refused to go back with the men the king had sent, but eventually he agreed to go with them. As they traveled back to Moab, some very strange things happened on the road. Now let's read a story of Balaam and his velociraptor, a.k.a. the donkey, in Exodus 22. Verse 21, Balaam got up in the morning, saddled his donkey, and went with the Moabite officials. But God was very angry when he went, and the angel of the Lord stood in the road to oppose him. Balaam was riding on his donkey, and his two servants were with him. When the donkey saw the angel of the Lord standing in the road with a drawn sword in his hand, it turned off the road into a field. Balaam beat it to get back on the road. The angel of the Lord stood in the narrow path through the vineyards with the walls on both sides. When the donkey saw the angel of the Lord, it pressed close against the wall, crushing Balaam's foot against it. So he beat the donkey again. Then the angel of the Lord moved on ahead and stood in a narrow place where there was no room to turn either to the right or to the left. When the donkey saw the angel of the Lord, it lay down under Balaam, and he was angry and beat it with his staff. Then the Lord opened the donkey's mouth and it said to Balaam, What have I done to you to make you beat me these three times? Balaam answered the donkey, You have made a fool of me. If only I had a sword in my hand, I would kill you right now. The donkey said to Balaam, Am I not your own donkey, which you have always ridden to this day? Have I been in the habit of doing this to you? No, he said. Then the Lord opened Balaam's eyes, and he saw the angel of the Lord standing in the road with his sword drawn. So he bowed low and fell face down. The angel of the Lord asked him, Why have you beaten your donkey these three times? I have come here to oppose you because your path is a reckless one before me. The donkey saw me and turned away from me these three times. If it had not turned away, I would certainly have killed you by now, but I would have spared it. Balaam said to the angel of the Lord, I have sinned. I did not realize you were standing in the road to oppose me. Now, if you are displeased, I will go back. The angel of the Lord said to Balaam, Go with the men, but speak only what I tell you. So Balaam went with Balak's officials. When Balak heard that Balaam was coming, he went out to meet him at the Moabite town of Arnon border, at the edge of his territory. Balak said to Balaam, Did I not send you an urgent summons? Why didn't you come to me? Am I really not able to reward you? Well, I have come to you, Balaam replied, but I can't say whatever I please. I must speak only what God puts in my mouth. The story of Balaam helps us remember that no matter where we go, it's important that we let God be there with us. We can take God wherever we go. Would you like to do a science experiment with me? All right, let's go outside. With this science experiment, we're going to show you how God is always there. Can you pour some water into the cup? A little bit more, a little bit more. Keep on going all the way to the tippy top, please. No room left over. We're going to show you how God is leading and guiding all of our steps. 
Sometimes we are able to see what God is doing and why. Sometimes it's as clear as this glass of water. But then sometimes things happen that we don't understand. We don't know where we're supposed to go or where he's leading us, and it doesn't make sense. Sometimes we have to do crazy things, as if God were asking us to turn this glass of water upside down and telling us to believe that the water won't pour out. Go ahead, put it on top, and just hold it there. Although God is asking us to do doesn't always make sense, we can trust that he is leading us to good places, and we can let go, and we can let God be in control. Just like turning this over and letting go. Go ahead. Give it a try. Look at that. You see, when we let go, God leads us. He holds us up and he keeps us going. No matter how strange or crazy it seems. (laughs) 